Robo Detang is ready for ball review. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have a brand new ball video for you. The Storm DNA. Here I have a pin up and a pin down for you guys to kind of exhibit the up versus down thing. But today we're balling on, I don't know if it's fresh. I don't know if it's been bowled on for a long time, but it's a house shot here at Gold Coast. Shout out to Gold Coast though for letting us come in and do our thing. I got the down version here. I drilled this one on tour. It's been out for when this video comes out. It would have been out for about, we would have had it for about three weeks now. I was told it's gem strength coming to find a little weaker. So I'm gonna throw it a little bit. I've thrown some shots so far. We're bowling on this lane in particular because it's way less than the other lane. Here we are. I like this one so far. I've been throwing it for two weeks. Threw it at the Shawnee stop and threw it in Wichita as well. Uh, I finally had my breakout block where I shot 250 over-ish for six games. The DNA and the gem paired together for those big games. So it's got some potential. A little bit weaker than a reality, if not pretty comparable. And I've had the reality a little weaker than the gem. Now I tried to throw this my very first block. Uh, it wasn't quite strong enough, not early enough. And my adjustment for the next block was gem and it worked out really well. So that tells me this one's just a little weaker. I even so, it's already burning up. That one didn't really want to get off it as much as the first one. So if you're planning on throwing these really strong balls at league and your house shot hooks a lot, I would suggest taking the surface up, maybe 4,000, polish it up a little bit. Definitely throw it before you change the surface. Don't just assume that, hey, this ball's strong. It's not gonna work for me. Don't be afraid to change your surfaces. You can go up or down, depending on what you need. If you're leaving those corner pins, your ball's either hooking too early or going too long. And in most league ballers cases, your ball's going too long. This ball might be perfect for you. We'll throw one more with the down. Maybe we'll move three left. See so what it looks like from here and then get into the up one. Not a ton of left side hold. The more I do with my hand, kind of tricking stuff, the more it's gonna read in the front. So I'm gonna have to try to stay really soft with my hand and make sure it floats through the front because these covers are so strong. Now I just drilled this DNA. The pin down one's kind of gone through the gauntlet already. Uh, I drilled it last week and we hit it with a lot of surface because we needed a lot of surface. I don't want to fool you guys. We bought on a long pattern. We didn't hit it with a lot of surface because the pattern was long. We bought on a low viscous oil, which means it's really slick. And you can take viscosity as like mud versus water. Mud would be very high high viscosity and water would be very low. It's not volume. So it's not that we build on a lot of volume, we build on very thin oil. So that makes our balls want to skate. That's why we hit our balls with a lot of surface. The pin up versus down, this one should flare more, AKA hook more, AKA earlier. Also get off the spot more. So it's a combination of all those things. In the past, people thought pin down balls hooked earlier and they are smoother. So earlier and smoother is what people thought. They are smoother. They don't flare as much, which means the ball's not touching as much lane. So when that happens, the ball's just rotating, rotating, rotating. It's not getting off line as fast. You can see it here, thinner lines on the pin down and a little wider on the pin up. In the past, I think it's because most pin down balls had weight holes and the weight holes changed the core dynamics to make the hook earlier. It was like a cheat code. You get balls hooked early and be smooth. Now, not so much. All right, now everyone's gonna be like, oh, look like the ball went down the lane further, blah, blah, blah. I also threw that one to the right more than the uh, pin down one. Here we go. We're gonna try again from the same spot. I don't got off it plenty. And this one also might be hooking way earlier because we did hit it with a lot of surface. Actually, I'm not gonna say might. That is definitely why this one's hooking earlier. A lot of teeth underneath. We do that little trick where we hit it with 500 and then we go over the top with a smoother surface to smooth it out a little bit. So it's got the teeth underneath to dig, but uh, we smooth out the top so it doesn't hook too early. But all in all, this ball looks just like a phase two. I would say, you know, I talked to Barnes a little bit too. He's thrown it for, for a little. He thinks it's like an asymmetric phase two and I can see that. I just think the color pigments make a big difference. You know, the gem bright colors, making it hook a little earlier. Reality. Got some brighter pigments as well. Maybe it is in the same strength, the same realm as those two balls, and the colors make it a little bit cleaner. Yeah, kind of in that spot now. We're struggling to get around the corner because it's so early. So now we're gonna have to start playing around with some ball speed, get it to come around the corner, get it to hook in the right spot. But of course, if you're bowling on your league pattern and you have to do this, probably throwing the wrong ball. I'm moving even further left because that's just what we do. Now, this is where it gets tricky on the league pattern. There is not as much oil towards the gutter. So the further we move left, the more our ball is gonna wanna hook in the front of the lane. So maybe I'll give it a little loft to get over that spot. The up one's very responsive to my hand position changes. Like if I get a little too forward, it just stands up too quick and goes forward. I get around it a little bit, gets off the spot. So let's try the down one. Let's see if that blends it out a little bit. With the slightly lower diff because of the layout, which means slightly less hook, the ball will round off it if I get too far up the back and it'll kind of do the same thing. Basically, it's just less responsive to my hand position changes.
There we go. I gotta mention one more thing. The mass bias on the asymmetric balls makes a big difference as well. So the mass bias on the pin down one is a lot stronger than the pin up one. So that's naturally gonna bring the balls closer together. So we got the stronger pin on the pin up one. We have the stronger mass bias on the pin down one. So if it looks like it wants to pick up really quick, probably because of the mass bias and not the pin position. You wanna make sure you put this in a spot where you want it. And if you don't really understand what that does, hopefully your pro shop operator does. And if your pro shop operator doesn't know, probably go to a different one. <laughs> TV Bowling Supply, talk to them. They do online orders. All right, should we keep going? I know there's a lot of people that don't like us getting this far left because they're like, ah, I don't throw out like that. I don't want to see that. So we'll move back to the right after this, but I'll tell you, I don't know how good it's going to look. tough when they hook this much. We don't typically shoot here at Gold Coast. Amongst all the places, we go to the Nerd, sometimes South Point, sometimes Gold Coast. I think I have Gold Coast the earliest. So if you're gonna bowl here, it's probably gonna be weaker balls. All right, let's move back to the right. So when I fluff it with my hand, I like the ball to pick up on, on its own. I don't wanna have to make it hook because I'm being softer with my hand. So maybe the pinup one might be better or you know maybe this one might be just as good because of the strong mass bias. Bowling Nerd Talk. If you guys are interested in learning more about all these random things I'm saying you don't understand, check us out on Twitch. Link also in the description below. Wheel. It's for my up 10 dumpers. Yeah, as far as impact with pin and mass bias, I don't think one matters more than the other because they all work together to create whatever shape you're receiving. But I also just don't know enough about all these things to tell you which one matters more. But I'm pretty sure they all just work together to give you what you get. Again, hopefully you have a good pro shop operator that knows what they are doing. I mean, I got that one a little left, but it still looked like the up one wanted to pick up a little quicker. And based on the flare lines, maybe the pin does make a bigger difference. We can compare the colors. This is not my face, too. They look very close. Color schemes, very close. DNA's got a little bit of black, a little brighter red. I'll move one. Maybe try to throw it a little harder. Straighter is greater, right? Everyone in the comments keeps saying that Darren bowls better when he can play to the right. I mean... I shot 500 for two games, sliding the left gutter last week. You guys don't see everything. We don't have any balls to compare it to because most of my bowling balls are currently on tour, either in Chris Vice truck or on the PBA truck. I would be comparing this to Gem and Reality for sure, because this is the realm in which it fits. A good ball down from this would probably be a phase two. What else can we say about this bowling ball? I like the colors, I like the way it smells. DNA is kind of a cool name. BTS, for those who know. It's weaker than advertised, I would say for sure. I don't know if Storm doesn't want me to say that, but I call it how I see it, and that's how I see it. This ball just gets down the lane a little more than the gym. Can they fit in the same bag? Probably not. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you have 12 bowling balls going to a tournament, maybe so. This would be a closer replacement for your reality. I think the Proton is a little stronger than this as well, so if you had a Proton and you like that one, I would recommend gem. In terms of this one, as a replacement, probably replaces your reality. Play! Uh, I'm gonna strike a lot with this next ball. 